Hey everybody. So I decided I was going to make a video for you guys because I just think that's going to be easier than trying to explain everything on typing it out. Um, I will also type it out and I'm working on a kind of a PowerPoint slideshow so you guys can have some of this information in um, written format because I I'm a very kinesthetic and visual learner. I am not an auditory learner at all. So if somebody just spoke this to me, I would never remember it. Well, I might remember some of it, but not a bunch of it. But I wanted to show you guys some of what I was talking about because I need to see it and do it and practice it to learn. And then the other thing is every almost everybody actually brought up nutrition as the hardest thing for them. And it actually has always been the hardest thing for me as well for multiple different reasons. I mean, my story goes into a whole lot of different um, exercise and nutrition were definitely things that had much more than just, I'm going to work out and I'm going to eat the right things. And I, I mean, my mom will probably watch this cause she is in this group and like, thank you mom so much for actually teaching me what nutrition to use and what was good to fuel my body and cooking things that were healthy for me because I am realizing now that I'm I guess I am an adult. I just not feel like an adult all the time, but that I actually did have a good foundation of what did I need to feed my body with and how did I nurture my body? Um, my problem was I chronically under ate or didn't eat at the right times or I would just, I didn't make nutrition a priority and I didn't feel my body. I actually didn't eat enough of the right things. And that is definitely something that I've learned throughout this whole process. I think a whole lot of people looked at the container things yesterday and said, this is a lot of food. And that, to be honest, is the first thing I said. I was like, this is a lot of food and got in my head about it and was like, I'm going to cheat the system. Like this isn't going to work. And I think with the first time I started this program, which shout out to Nicole was with Nicole and Lizzie in 2016. And I was like, I'm going to eat a meal plan. A technically, by the calculations, I was in meal plan B. And I was like, nope, I'm gonna gain too much weight and blah, blah, blah. And so I ate meal plan A and guess what? It worked really well for a little bit and then it wasn't sustainable. And actually this time around when I started, I think I also technically fell into meal plan A. And I will tell you, I don't, that is not the meal plan that I, I don't eat in plan A. It is not enough food for me. It is not enough food for my body. I am, I find that I'm hungry, I'm tired, my like body just doesn't work the way it should. And so I right now, um, sometimes I eat meal plan B, sometimes I eat meal plan C. Um, and so I got off track there, but that was kind of just introduction to that stuff. But rest of this, I'm gonna go through containers. Um, after I talk, I will go ahead and film and show you how I do my meal prep for the week. Um, and then give you guys some tricks just for things or different um, things that I have found that help for me to like consolidate the time that it takes me to meal prep and help keep me on track throughout the week. Because if I do not meal prep like the on Sunday, like Saturday or Sunday and have everything for the next week, I have gotten better at being able to do it because I've been doing this for so long. But when I first started, that's when I fell off. It was Wednesday when I done enough stuff to have enough stuff around the house to kind of get me through the meal plan and the different containers for a couple days. And then I ran out and I had to cook something and I sat there like I actually had like a delivery box and I can't tell you how many it's actually really embarrassing how many delivery boxes I like threw the stuff away from because they just went bad because I wasn't making time to cook in the middle of the week. And I was like, I don't have time. And I, to be honest, probably could have made time and I didn't, it wasn't a priority to me and I ordered food instead. And then it would go down the hill from there. So I really think that even though this is the hardest thing, it's also the most important. So I really want to like questions from you guys, like anything, like definitely like want to do this together. I don't mind making more videos. Don't mind sending more resources, just working on getting those together for you guys, because I mean, this was my stumbling block. It's now it's more of a routine, but I, I want to help you guys get in the habit and make it easy because it can be it. I don't want to say it's not necessarily easy and hard. It's just 
getting it into a routine. Um, I think it's harder than the, the workouts, to be completely honest. So, good thing I was, you know, semi-athletic in my life. Um, I have the containers because I wanted to talk about them really quickly um, because I know that you guys don't, I don't think anybody um, except for my mom has ultimate portion fix, which actually like if you guys want more information on the nutrition, like it's, I want us, I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it goes into, it has a whole bunch of different videos where Autumn Calibres goes through all of the different um, programs. It goes like really, really in depth into the containers. Like if you have no foundational knowledge about the containers, like it actually was really helpful. I know there's actually several people, um, that have done Beachbody before and have eaten with the portion containers. I know Shanice, you have Lizzie, Nicole, all of you guys have. So like you, you have some of that knowledge already. And so it's not brand new. Megan, I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. And like, definitely we can talk through it, but basically, and this is the, I'll pull some out of the ultimate portion fix workbook. Um, cause I, there's, I want to explain how it works. So technically the container system is a macronutrient based diet. I hate math. People swear up, down, left, right, that macros are not that hard to calculate. Never in my life have I been able to figure out how to calculate macros. Like just, I've tried, I've, I doesn't work. I also have a really hard time calorie counting or really counting anything. So the containers, like, yes, technically I know I'm counting containers. It just, in my head, it doesn't make me go to that space where I'm obsessing as much. It makes me think, okay, like, did I get all my containers in? And I know at this point that I feel better. My body feels better when I do. So I'm not like, oh my gosh, like I'm whatever percentage over or like, oh my gosh, like I'm under this many calories or over this many calories. That goes to a really unhealthy space for me. So the containers are a lot, help, lot more helpful to not go into that space. If that's a space that you go into, like really I ask you guys, and I think like everybody that's in here is at a point where you are aware of your tendencies, um, check in on that, whether that's with yourself, with me, with a counselor, whoever it is, like make sure you're checking in on that. Like that's part of what we're here for. Like this is like, it's a journey and it's accountability, not just did you show up today, but how did you show up today and what support do you need? Because it's, I needed connection to do this because I was, I was terrified. I was terrified to start again. I was terrified to fail. I, and you know, I didn't trust myself looking back. I realized I didn't trust myself to do it alone. So I'm segueing again, like, sorry, this is gonna be a really long video. So if I need to go back and make a more consolidated version, I will. So, but just prepare for, you know, this to be my, you know, first Ted talk ever, uh, which I probably can't cause I'm sure this is copyrighted, but so, we have in the container plans, I mean, you, all of you guys have the different containers. There's one for each of the different food groups, um, except for the table or the teaspoon. Hopefully we own teaspoons. If not, fun trick that, shout it again, thank you, mom. Teaspoon. Tablespoon. Regular spoons are usually a teaspoon and a tablespoon. You just gotta make sure it's flat. And because if I have like a heaping peanut butter teaspoon on here, obviously that's no longer a teaspoon. It's probably like five teaspoons the way I scoop things out. Ugh. So, or use your teaspoon that you probably have. So each of these, you guys have all kind of looked at your plans and gone through and done the calculations. Um, multiple different programs like have different ways to calculate what amount of containers you need. Like Transform 20 has its own, instead of going through the ultimate portion fix way where you like do a bunch of math and calculate, not a bunch of math, some math and calculations, and then put it into, that gives you like what plan you are. Uh, Transform 20 just has like, if you weigh this much, this is the plan you need to be in. And so like whatever program you're doing look at that or use the ultimate portion fix calculations and modify them over. If it's already a containerized, based on the containers, based program, do what it says. Like Morning Meltdown has its own meal plan. I don't, 
I haven't looked as much at it. If somebody really wants to do that plan, I will, and I'll figure out how to make it work for you. Um, I mean, all the resources are in there, they're laid out. It is also laid out so that you can use the containers. My personal bias is gonna be to use the container program or the container system, that's what worked for me. Other people combine multiple ones. I know my mom combines one that was created for her and the containers. She has the resources and ability like to connect with somebody that can help her through that. Um, really, I'm gonna give you the resources that I have with the program that I use. Not, I'm not a nutritionist. I wanna like, you guys know that. Um, so I'm gonna use, like I'm not gonna modify a program. She is somebody that can modify a program with her you're comfortable doing something like or working with somebody that's completely okay um, there's also to be mindset which i have not used but it is another nutrition program that comes through beachbody and it's more based on um visual portion size than it is it doesn't break it down as far into the macronutrients um so here we go with this so each program so transform 20 whatever bracket you're in um lizzie and megan i know that i had sent out the breastfeeding calculations and then um shanice you and i had figured out your plan already um and that's just i'll post the calculations in there for everybody it is the ultimate portion fix calculations morning meltdown 100 i'm pretty sure is actually considered moderate exercise the ones that are considered um challenging exercise um that's stuff like insanity and p90x and um 80 day obsession has its own calculations and a lot of them will that's why it's really important to go into the material section of your programs because i know what program everybody's on that's something i'm also going to do and double check like if your program already has that laid out i'm going to give you that resource and i'm going to say like hey do your calculations this way um morning meltdown doesn't have if you don't use their specific plan it leaves it up to you to do the ultimate portion fix calculations. You guys that are doing morning meltdown 100, you have like, you've already got your plans for that. Um, by the way, if everybody could send me what plan they're on, just so I can like help build those for you. If you want me to help build those, like absolutely more than willing to do that. Um, I know you guys can on your own, but I'm also like willing to give pointers. I remember building it the first time and it was really, really, really hard. Um, so, we have our, these are actually the same size. So if you're ever like somewhere and you're like, oh my gosh, one's dirty, one's not. These are the same size, fruits and veggies. You've got your protein container. There are several different proteins that um, you wouldn't be trying to squish in here. They're laid out on the lists, um, the list that I will post on there, but also you're gonna be able to find it under 21 day fix. If you go in there, in their materials, it has all the container lists. If you go into 80 Day Obsessions materials, it also has container lists. I will put a warning on there that that container list on the 80 Day Obsession one is more restrictive than the other one. Like it doesn't have as much. Um, I'll also share the resource list from Ultimate Portion Fix with you guys. Um, like I'll show you now. One of the things I really like about this is it just has like, like I can pick up this book and just go to like, Green, like it has the green containers, like what goes in each one, which can be super helpful. It's all also on the beach body on demand. Um, so examples of ones that would be reds that wouldn't necessarily fit in the container would be like um, eggs, two eggs is equal to one red. I do eggs all the time. Lunch meat is another one that I actually used to be really terrified of lunch meat. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, but just started reusing it again, I get, I'm a little ridiculous, but get that like the nitrate, the nitrite free organic lunch meat. The one that we have out here is called Applewood. It's just the brand we have um, was on sale recently. So I bought like a butt ton of it um, and froze some of it, have the rest of it in my food drawer. But those like six of those, like six different like roll ups of it also equals a red. Those are like nice handy things to know, like if you're throwing it in, like, cause those are ones that travel well. If you're like, oh my gosh, how do I pack this for a full day? Cause I'm out of the house. Like I literally leave my house at seven o'clock every morning, if not before that. And I don't get back all the time until like five if I'm lucky. So there's a lot of times when I'm packing multiple of my plans, like or my plans, my meals in my lunchbox and taking them with me. Um, I do have access to a fridge. I've also done that where I don't have access to a fridge and I just like, 
ice pack it up. Um, but those are good ones. Like they travel well and they're easy to like eat when you're walking around because I don't sit still very long ever. Um, here's yellow. Um, this is something that I do a lot of times I'll fill this container. I will pre prep quinoa, um, for the week or I hate cooking things on the stove. Uh, I don't hate cooking things on the stove. I hate cooking things on the stove, sitting there waiting for them. And somehow like I like probably eight out of 10 times I try to make quinoa or rice. I end up messing it up somehow. Don't know. I just do. Um, so I actually buy, and this is something that can save with time. If you guys are looking for ways to save on time, um, now it will cost a little bit more. So it's like that trade off. Like, you know, are you going to pay a little bit more? Um, cause you can get quinoa and rice real cheap. Um, but what I do, and this is, I also have them for emergencies. Like if I, I really do try to cook them on the stove most of the time, but in case I run out in the middle of the week and I need them for like dinner, I have just like fully cooked organic quinoa. This goes like you pop it in the microwave for I think like three minutes. And then you have like, I've got basically two and a half containers worth of quinoa. Um, same thing here, brown rice. I do make sure cause a lot of stuff, um, a lot of the containers, not containers, like the packets like this will have extra additives like butter or sea salt or like just random things like in the ingredients. So like, I really like this one's from our, what's called central market. Um, this is Trader Joe's. I just look on the label and make sure that the ingredients literally say cooked organic quinoa. And this one says cooked organic whole grain brown rice. There are other ones I've grabbed and they've said like all sorts of things I can't even pronounce on there. And I'm like, mm, maybe not. Um, but that's a, that's a trick. Like if you want to keep some in the freezer, even if you don't plan to use them all the time, those are good to have in a pinch. And it's a good thing. Like you're running behind, like you need to throw stuff together, makes it easy. So if I'm throwing stuff together, I'm throwing that in the microwave instead of running to, I don't know, like McDonald's or Taco Bell instead, because those are on my way home also. So that's one of the tricks that I have. So taking you guys through my meal plan for a day and my meal prep, I will like show videos of that. I basically buy like a whole bunch of my preferred veggie is peppers. I love raw peppers. I buy a whole bunch of them. I was going to pull a whole ton out, but like I literally just have like a fridge full of peppers right now. So I will grab those. I will, you guys will see today. I will slice all of those up, use this, um, and to scoop out of a big container and just portion into my Tupperware containers. I will make enough for me to take three of them to work every single day. So I will have 15 different containers. Like I will, I've gotten enough peppers that I can chop them up. I'm into like pepper matchsticks, whatever you call them. And I will have 15 of those for this week. I will like, you can put anything in there. Like there's the peppers. I actually also have, um, like cucumber was on sale this week. Cucumber is another one that's really easy to cut. It takes a lot less time to cut up a cucumber than it does a pepper. Um, so I will also do that, throw it in like a bowl, scoop it out, put it in my Tupperware containers. And that can be like when you're doing that, the fresh um, veggies are a really good way to do that, especially if you're walking around and snacking. I like it because I get the crunch. I feel fuller. I'm not just eating spinach. I found like if I fill all of these containers with spinach, I'm going to be starving by the end of the day. Like it's just like technically like roughly it evens out like and you could fill all of them with spinach that's completely up to you um however like if i put some variety in there like if i have peppers and some cucumber um maybe throw in some squash like in the winter time when i really want pasta or i want some of those heavier foods spaghetti squash is a veggie so like doing spaghetti squash um cooking those like i'll make another video when it kind of rolls over into the season um, butternut squash is another one. If you make those, you can put those in there and those are actually really good bases. If you want to use, um, maybe you want to make like pasta. So you get spaghetti squash, you fill half of a container and you've got like want to use one green, half a container with the spaghetti squash, half a container with, um, tomatoes. Like however you want to do that, you can mix it up. But squashes are another good one to take for lunches. If you want to like make a whole bunch in advance, cause you can pre-portion them and they're gonna last all week long. That's part of the reason that I use the fresh veggies, besides the fact that I love them, is because 
I can cut them on Sunday and they're still going to be okay come Friday. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think um, veggie wise there is. Um, so for my nut, the ones that I don't pack, the ones like, so what I do is you will see me portion out everything for work during the week. But the ones that I don't, what I do for dinners is I actually make and put them in big containers. I'm a creature of habit. I don't mind eating the same thing every night. Um, so what I have for dinner almost every night is I have either rice or quinoa for um, a yellow container. I will mass cook buffalo chicken um, in the Instant Pot. I put in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I dump on some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I throw in two chicken breasts um, or four, depending on how much I want to make uh, that day and if chicken was on sale or not. Um, I cook it for 26 minutes in the Instant Pot and then I shred it and then I keep it in containers that are about this size that will last a couple days because chicken does go bad in the fridge. I just keep it in here and then when I get home, I'll pull out the, the rice that's already in a container. I'll pull out a red container of this. I will fill up my green container with a combination of spinach. Um, sometimes I throw in green beans and, like in there and I actually am gonna be 100% honest on that too. Um, green bean wise, I don't like steaming veggies either. Not a hard thing to do. You can obviously cook your veggies. That's another thing I buy frozen. So I'll pop it in the microwave and I will have my green beans. I'll dump like, and usually I'll like mix this container up for that. Like I'll put some spinach, I'll put some green beans. And then something I make every week and I'll share the recipe with you guys. It is a fixate recipe. Um, I love pico de gallo, pico de gallo, not pico de gallo, pico de gallo. Brian like makes fun of me for that all the time. Um, but I make a batch of this like every Sunday when I do my meal prep. Um, it's just onions, tomatoes, garlic, jalapeno, cilantro, and some salt. Um, I'll share the recipe with that for you guys. Um, takes me probably about 20 minutes. It's actually one of the things that takes me longer to make. Um, put it in there. So I'll dump some of that. That'll be my green container. And then I will mix that all together. And sometimes I'll have like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of peanut butter to go with it just because... Um, I've been following what's called the time nutrition plan and it calls for dinner for you to have a carb for my plan, a carb, a veggie, a protein, carb, veggie, protein, and a teaspoon, um, which kind of brings me to the different plans that you can follow. So the different containers you see, like the plan that you see, you see like, Hey, like a lot of people were in plan C. So plan C is you get five green containers a day, three purple, five red, four yellow, one blue, which is a healthy fat, um, one orange, which is actually also a fat category, but it's seeds and dressings, and then five teaspoons. Um, not gonna lie, I use almost all of my teaspoons on peanut butter, but if you're cooking, um, like if you're sauteing vegetables, like, and you use that teaspoon there, that definitely works really well too. Like that cooking oil goes really well into like adding up to those teaspoons for the day and or week. Um, but on the found, what's called the foundational fix, you can eat those containers however you want throughout the day. So if you want to use three of those greens for breakfast because you're making a really large like salad or you have like salad with, um, like you have salad and then you decide you want to have, uh, I don't know, like broccoli on the side or like you're putting stuff in quiche. Um, like you can use those, you can stack those containers however you want throughout the day. I will say be careful because if you eat all of your containers in the morning and then you have like, I don't know, a blue and an orange at night, you're like sitting there with a spoonful of avocado and like a thing of olives, which you can do. It's totally okay, but it's, um, it definitely, if you use all of them at one time, then you, I mean, either you use more that day and that's okay. Like there's going to be days where you eat more than the containers you have like that. This is not, oh my gosh, like I didn't get them all in or, oh my gosh, I ate like half of an extra green container today. 
that's it that's life that's what life is that's what happens that's okay now you do want to kind of try to balance it out like 80 20 like are you following and dialing in on the nutrition planning and if you don't you don't and that's i mean that's your choice but nutrition is going to be the majority of your results like so going in like to do that you can show up and do workouts every day and if you're not fueling your body properly you're not going to get the same results and that's not just physical results that's like mental clarity and not feeling and not feeling tired and having the energy to go in and do those workouts like nutrition is going to be what makes you feel different like bottom line that's what it is and kind of sucks that it's the harder part of the two at least for most people um, but it doesn't mean it's not worth it and it doesn't mean that it's like impossible. Like once, once you get it done, it's like any new thing. Riding a bicycle is really, really hard until you get it and then you just do it. Like you, you just know how to do it. You know how to do it not the right way sometimes and you're riding your bicycle sideways and you fall off and you skin your knee, but you still know how to get back on. Um, so the second way or the second like type of eating with the container system is actually called timed nutrition. So I have just been, I just got off of several months of following timed nutrition because it's actually the plan that was built with 80 day obsession. And the reason they did timed nutrition was to be able to space out your containers in a way that's been gone through by a nutritionist so that you're getting the appropriate amount of food spread out throughout the day. So your blood sugar is staying level. You're not having that afternoon crash where you're gonna want more, like if I'm in the office and all the candy's sitting there because it is, like I'm gonna wanna grab that because my blood sugar is dropping and my body's looking for an energy source. Um, I loved the time nutrition. I, I do really well with structure. I like to have here, do this, do this at this time, and do it over and over and over again. Like that, it, it's something that structure really helps me. I, helps me organize my mind, helps me not feel as chaotic. Um, and then I can flex off of that. But that actually, and I will, if anybody is interested more in that, um, there are specific pairings for what different food groups you're putting together with that plan, which is really helpful in some ways because it makes it really, it narrows down what recipes you're using. Like I have, I mean, I've got two cookbooks sitting here of recipes. On the foundational fix plan, like I can really pick any recipe out of any of these books or either one of these books and do it like one of the ones that I have been eyeballing. Um, let me see if I can find it. Like there's an egg one that I've been eyeballing. And the way the containers go together like didn't work with the time nutrition plan that I was on, which is okay. Um, but if I was doing foundational fix, or I definitely could have used that and done that all the time, but it like opened up all the options and it was just like too much for me. Like it was like, oh, I have all the options in the world and I felt super overwhelmed. So time nutrition helped to narrow it down. It also laid out, I was eating every two and a half to three hours throughout the day, which kept me on track with okay, I need to go upstairs and grab something from my lunchbox right now, or hey, I need to reach over in the car and grab something out of my lunchbox right now because I'm gonna be hungry, and that saved me from like not eating, not eating, not eating. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, and I have all these containers, and now I'm really, really full and tired and exhausted. Or I waited all day, and now like I don't have my food with me, and I need to eat right now, so I'm gonna stop at whatever I drive by. Um, but time nutrition does have like there's actually these container or the container counters and the meal planners, um, which I could if anybody wants to do it and lay their meal plan out that way, let me know what it is is it it is it's every two to three hours there's things that are paired together that you eat with each other. So for me, like when you see me put my meals together, you will see it be in that fashion. like right now for breakfast, um, well, for breakfast, I have been eating, like I eat a shake and my shake has one package of Shakeology, which is a red. Um, it has a container of fruit or half a banana, which is equivalent to a container of fruit. It has almond milk in it, which is equivalent to a tea, eight ounces of almond milk is equivalent to a teaspoon. Um, and then some ice and some of the supplements that I put in there. Then two hours after that, I will actually have, this is another thing that goes into my meal planning and I will share these recipes with you. Um, 
it's something that really, really has been helpful for me. I have, there are, in the cookbooks, and on the Beachbody blog, which is in the nutrition app, and I can send you guys the link to the blog as well, um, but I would definitely recommend downloading the um, Beachbody nutrition app because it just has it's endless recipes with the container counts on them. Um, some of the things it has on there, it has like um, egg cups, and so it'll tell you what the container equivalent of the egg cups is. Um, the other thing, and this is from the recipe books, and I'm gonna pull these out because I made these actually last week, so like every few weeks I'll make them and I think I made like 18 of them. So I'm good for a little bit, but every day for snack, I have one of these little bad boys, which is little bad boys. That sounded really funny, but, um, it's an apple banana muffin. Um, and it's from the cookbook and it, the container count for this, because it's given to me from the cookbook, I didn't have to calculate it by myself. I shouldn't be calculating it by myself. I really do try to, because it's, they've done the calculation for what the macros are worth. Um, it's definitely important, like use a recipe from the blog or use a recipe from the cookbook. Ask me for recipes from the cookbook. You actually can get to them through 80 Day Obsession is our Fixate. They're in the Fixate cooking show, actually has all most of the recipes in the materials section. So you can access those through there as well. So Fixate on Beachbody On Demand, click on it click on materials and you can actually get the printed version or the like um, word version, I guess, the written version of the cookbook that isn't the actual cookbook. Or you can go on and order the cookbook. I love the cookbook. I like being able to touch it. I don't like needing to touch my iPad when I'm cooking because I will probably break it. Um, but long story short, the apple banana muffins are equivalent to one purple and one blue container. So my morning snack that I actually like am allotted on the time nutrition plan is not morning. It can go anywhere during the day. I choose to eat it in the morning. It is a purple, a blue, and um, a green. So I will have this, like I will have one of these muffins. I pull out three at a time because they last three days in the fridge. They freeze for months at a time. So I'm just going to pull out three of these, throw them in the fridge because then I have them out for the first three days of the week. Um, I will pull the other ones out like later on in the week. I just need to remember to pull them out at least the night before. And even if I don't, it's not the end of the world because they'll fall on my lunchbox if I choose not to put it in the fridge. So I like every couple of weeks, mass prep. If you know you're gonna have a weekend with more time, make a double batch of them. It takes me like, I don't know, 30 minutes to do a double batch. Um, the other thing I have in here that's a trick, I just noticed it as I was putting that away, is these are my bananas. So I really don't like um, fruit flies and I get them really badly in my kitchen. Nor am I a huge fan of having half a banana sitting around. Um, my kitchen is really small. I don't have a lot of time for that. Um, and I don't like having it all over the counters. So um, I just like peel I eat most of my bananas frozen or in shakes. I peel the bananas as soon as they start to go bad. I break them in half. I store them in there. So when I want to put it in my shake, like instead of being like, oh, like I'm just going to eat this other second half of the banana because it's here right now. They're already broken up. It just like gives me the chance to throw it in the shake and not like even have to worry about like, what am I going to do with the other half of this today? If you eat it, it's not the end of the world, but it, it makes it easy. And then they're frozen, which gives a little bit more... I like my shakes to taste like almost like frozen shakes. Um, that helps with that. Um, okay, so that's breakfast. I do the shake. Mid morning snack, I do the apple banana muffin with a cup of or a container of whatever veggie it is. And um, for me, it's today, this week, it's going to be peppers or cucumbers, is what it's going to be. Um, and then one of the next portions is actually on time nutrition and you could break it out this way with your regular plan. Um, but for me, it's going to be a red, a yellow, an orange, a green and a teaspoon. So because I'm going to work, like I could, like this could look like, um, Four ounces of meat is also equivalent to this. So um, if you're cooking something that doesn't really fit into it, 
Um, like I just use it in my head, like calculation, like four ounces, like if I'm doing hamburgers, like four ounces of ham, like a four ounce hamburger is going to be like, yeah, I could try to make sure it fits in here, but then it doesn't look like a hamburger anymore. So like, whatever. I mean, I could do something for lunch. So if I really wanted, like I have the carb, I could do one slice of bread, whole wheat, or like some form of wheat bread. I could do six slices of turkey. I could do whatever veggies I want on that sandwich. And I could just like make that my, my lunch for the day and then add olives. Like that's something I could do. Or um, what I do is I found another muffin because I realized it was easy for me it was just easier to prep um, and easier to actually have the time to eat at work because there are days where like it does get kind of chaotic. Um, there's another recipe that is lemon poppy seed muffins and they are, I adore them. Um, but there it's from the fixate cookbook. I'll also link it for you guys or send you guys the link for it. Um, but each muffin is the equivalent of a yellow, half of an orange, and a teaspoon. So I throw these in and that takes care of my yellow, my half an orange and the teaspoon. That way I'm not, um, I mean, I, I could have the sandwich. I could make quinoa and heat it up every day. I really just like that I can pick this up. I can make sure I eat it. Also like for those of you that have like, you're looking at this plan, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much food. I found like, especially for me at first, the muffins really help to kind of like make it not feel like it was quite as much food and made it more reasonable for me to feel like I could get that food in in a day. So I just put up, these will last all week in the fridge. It's just, I think it's just the different ingredients in it. So I pulled out one for each day of the week um, because on the weekends, I like to feel like I'm eating food. Like I like to feel like I'm putting food in my mouth um, pretty much all day long, but you know, that's a different story. Um, so I, I don't usually, I'll do the muffins on weekends if I'm traveling. But other than that, I really don't. I also have hiding back here. Um, I got this off the blog. They're actually called Cranberry Bliss Bars. They're the same measurements as these muffins, but you can see like, this one's kind of crumbled and falling. They were like supposed to come out as bars. Like it was a little bit of a fail. Like one of those ones on, pin like it tastes good, but like, um, so it looks like a lot, but it's really like, it's, I find that it's not as filling as the muffins. So I, you know, didn't make the cranberry bliss bars again. I probably will at some point. It's really good. It's a really good treat. It's a good way to kind of mix it up a little bit. But, you know, there we go. Those are, like, you know, like just different options. Um, like another thing I wanted to show you guys, like with that apple banana muffin, since that pairing is a blue, a blue, a green, and a red, or a blue, a green, and a um, purple. Another thing I could do for that, and to be honest, this is usually what I do on weekends. Like I'll have whatever veggie it is that I feel like. Um, I like cashews, so I'll get the um, raw whole cashews. It's eight cashews and then an apple, or um, I really like grapes too, so, but I'll eat like, but if I want it, like that's something that's also easy to throw in my lunchbox. Like I can throw in an apple and eight cashews or an apple and 10 almonds, which is, which is a um, blue and then carrots, like fill this up with carrots. Like I was going to an appointment today and that's what I did. Like I saw an outpatient client and then I had to go to an appointment. So I threw in an apple, I threw in eight cashews and then I threw in a container of carrots. Um, so it's just like those things like to make it on the go, because the other thing is the only thing that really needed refrigerated out of that, um, was carrots and you know, they're not going to poison me if I don't refrigerate them for a hot second. So I find that they're a good option. So this is just my, again, my frozen muffins that I prepped last week. They're going back in the freezer because I still have, I pulled out five and I still have six. So next weekend I'll make another batch of these or make, might make a double batch. These batches actually make 12 at a time. So, um, I'll have those in order to go for the next couple weeks. But that, like that allows me to plan in advance. Um, so the other thing, what you guys, yeah, uh, I'm throwing like fish everywhere. Um, 
didn't see me talk about. So I actually had mentioned that I uh, also had the red in that one. So what I do for my red, especially at work, this is another one where I'm lazy and you could choose to do it a different way. Um, <laughs> this is chicken. It's pre-cooked. It's pre-cut. Um, and it was on sale at the grocery store. So this is what it looks like, like fresh in the package. It was on sale last week also. So last week I got a bunch um, and then I just like, I portioned it out last week while it was not frozen, obviously, into the red containers, put it into Ziploc baggies. Usually I would put this not in a Ziploc baggie. Um, usually I'd put it in a Tupperware container because it is a little garlicky and I can smell the garlic. Um, to be honest, I'm probably not gonna transition it out of the Ziploc. I'm probably just gonna put it in a big Ziploc, but I'm like, literally, I'm going to pull out one, two, three, four, five of these. And that's my protein for my lunch for the week. Like they're done, like prepped that meal. Um, and literally half of it with, except for me cutting the peppers, it is me pulling stuff out of the freezer that I made last weekend. Um, I will also this week, like I'll put this, I'll cut this up and freeze it. And the only reason I even have it fresh is because it was on super sale at the store. Um, and I know I can freeze it, so I wasn't gonna pass it up. Other options for that might be, like I said, you could take the six slices of lunch meat, um, or you could take, um, another thing I discovered is our grocery store has bulk shrimp um so you could do bulk shrimp and like the pre-cooked shrimp um that you can also is really good to throw in here because you can eat that cold it's really good with peppers it actually would probably be really good um with peppers and rice also it would probably be something like if you threw that all together and made like a little like almost like shrimp stir fry then you have that for the week um or like you, you mix it up. You've got chicken on one day, you've got shrimp on another. Um, I will say, so those, uh, what's your diggers words? Um, oh, the muffins that you saw, I mentioned they were half of a, the equivalent count was half of an orange. Um, what I do for the other half of that orange, like you can make the dressings, um, every time I've tried to do that, they've spilled. Um, they're wonderful. And I definitely, when I'm making them at home, I make the dressings and use them. But for work, it's just like, it ends up being a mess for me. Um, so I actually will take, um, pick one of the seeds. Like there's pumpkin seeds, there's the um, sunflower seeds. Like I have sunflower seeds in my drawer and I, but I usually take pumpkin seeds. I raw pumpkin seeds tend to prefer them. I will just take my orange container, fill it halfway, and I'll take that, throw it in, and just kind of like nibble on it at lunchtime. Um, then my next meal, my meal, like I usually have it right before I go home. Um, and I had been for a long time working out in the afternoons and with 80 day obsession, it was really important to eat an hour before working out. Um, and that was, again, it was almost the same container count. It was a protein, a carb, a veggie, and a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Um, what I did for that, because I was usually eating it in the car on the way home, um, I actually ate what's called a beach bar, and I'll actually, I have a lot of extra, so I was gonna send you guys samples of them, but a beach bar is, it's um, basically a nutrition bar that Beachbody has made. Um, they have chocolate peanut butter, they have chocolate cherry, um, I think they only have chocolate peanut butter and chocolate cherry right now. They're coming out with a vegan version, which is almond chocolate something, I think. That comes out sometime in the next couple of months. Um, I was skeptical skeptical about the chocolate cherry because I don't like cherry, um, but I tried it recently and uh, absolutely love it. But the equivalent container count of that is half a red, half a carb, so half a red, half a yellow, and a teaspoon. Um, so what I do is I would throw that in my lunch box. Um, then I would take one egg or three slices of lunch meat. I'm going to be honest. I usually did the one egg, um, hard boiled egg. I took it with me. Um, and then I would make either half a container of quinoa or 
recently I'd been making uh, sweet potato fries. I Now, I have an air fryer. You don't need an air fryer to do this. Um, but I would fill half a container, a yellow container halfway with the pre-prepped sweet potato fries because I have to use very little oil in order to use the air fryer. I just chop up a sweet potato, which is one of the, it's a higher on the list of carbs. Um, the higher on the list things are, they're not alphabetized because they're actually on there by like, which one nutritionally is gonna be best for you. So they're one of the higher ones on the list. I would throw it in the air fryer, cook it for 20 minutes. And then I would just like make five different little containers. And then I had little like fries on the way home from work. Um, other options could be half a slice of bread. So if you're doing the, if you decide to do lunch meat, you can do half a slice of bread, the three things of lunch meat, beach bar, you could do a full sandwich. Um, you could do half a pita, whatever works for you. Those are all different things you can put together, but those are just some ideas of how you could make your meal plan go throughout the day. Um, now, this is getting to be really long. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and like cut it off for now. If you guys have questions, if you're like, oh my gosh, Erica, I made it part way through and like, I can't, this is too long. Let me know those, I'm gonna have a video just of me prepping everything. And then I'll put a list together of like what I have, my meal plan. Um, and then if you guys can send me your what letter meal plans you're in, um, that way I can kind of go through, or if you're like, I don't know what else to put here or there, like what are some options, let me know and we can go from there and figure it out. Um, it definitely is an adjustment at first because most of us, I think we're gonna find we're not eating enough, um, at least not enough of the right things. And that definitely is, it takes a little bit to adjust to. Um, and like it's a learning process it's going to take time so definitely send me questions send successes like share recipes i'll send send the beach body blog link to everybody under this video finn is like literally like whacking me with his legs because he's mad because i'm not giving him enough attention hello he's like who are you talking to because it's not me um but i'm gonna go ahead and do my meal planning answer the text messages that i'm getting from some of you guys right now anyway and I will talk to you soon. Um, there is a third track. If anybody ow, sees it somewhere, just so you know, there is a track called Carb Cycling. I will talk about that. I actually just got finished doing that for the last week of 80 Day Obsession. It um, actually went a lot better than I thought it would. It is for short-term use. Um, it is definitely for dropping weight or tapping glycogen from your muscles quickly. Um, it is not a long-term plan, so that is one, like, I'm not going to go over it in a video. It is one that if somebody wants to use it, I would rather talk about that with them one-on-one, -on -one, just so we can make sure it's being used appropriately. Um, so, you know, I am just so grateful to have all of you ladies, and please, like, any questions, let me know, like, if it's a phone call, a FaceTime, like, just trying to navigate, like, what do we do for your plan, like, and if we have to modify it a couple times, I mean, I had three years worth of modifying mine until I found one that was a good backbone that I could work off of. That's completely normal. And that's part of what I'm here for as your coach. And I'm just, I'm super grateful to have all of you and for everybody being here doing this together. So I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.